Hi there, this is Abhishek here and welcome back to my channel and today I am going to review this HP Victus gaming laptop. I will let you know everything about this laptop so make sure to watch this video till the end. First of all, let me tell you about the box content. So inside the box, you are going to get one user manual, one laptop and one 150 watt charging adapter. Now let's talk about the laptop's build quality. The complete body is made up of a plastic and it is a good quality plastic. At the top, very easily you can see the flex, but in the keyboard section, there is very minor flex can be visible that can be ignored easily. The touchpad size is very big one that can be used very easily, very smoothly and you will also feel very comfortness. The keyboard quality is also good. The typing experience was quite good and it comes with a single backlight that can be turned on with the help of function plus F4 keys. The backlight keys are quite good. At night, the letter can be visible very easily. I believe this is a gaming laptop. If there is a RGB backlight key, it could be far better but not a problem according to budget. This laptop comes with a good configuration. The laptop comes with 16.1 inch full HD display and it comes with a 60 hertz refresh rate i believe if the refresh rate is around 120 hertz or 144 it could give you better gaming experience now let me talk about its quick specifications this laptop comes with ryzen 5 5600h processor that is a 6 core 12 thread processor if we talk about the gpu it comes with amd radian rx 5500m gpu inbuilt you will get 8 gb ram that can be upgraded up to 32 gb and it also comes comes with a 512 GB SSD that can be upgraded as well. Now let's have a look on its design. At the front hand side you will get a Victus logo plus here they have mentioned the Victus name as well. If we talk about the vents, all the vents are given at the front hand side of the laptop. There is no vents available on the left and right side. So the hot air only pass via this direction only. So there might be heating issue in the laptop. I will let you know about its complete review in this video video itself so make sure watch it till the end. On the left hand side you will get lots of port such as charging port, RJ45 port, HDMI, USB 3.0, USB Type-C, 3.5mm combo port for microphone and speaker and there is also SD card reader slot. On the right hand side you will get two USB 3.0 ports. So if you are a video editor then definitely you must know SD card reader slot how much it is important. So don't worry you no need to carry any SD card reader with you in the bag. This laptop comes with inbuilt speaker that is from Bang and All Option and speaker can be seen at the bottom of the laptop. The sound quality is good one, it is louder as well but I cannot tell it is excellent. But yes, if you want to enjoy the multimedia on the laptop, I think it is more than enough. Now let's have a look on its inbuilt applications. This laptop comes with Windows 11 and you will also get Microsoft Office 2021 absolutely free of cost. Plus, this laptop also comes with a HP Omen Hub application via which you can see certain details of the laptop plus you can also do certain customizations as well. For example, you can check what is the current temperature of the laptop, how many RAM this PC is utilizing right now. Plus, you can also customize the fan speed auto and max. Make sure whenever you are playing a game, this fan speed must be at max setting to get the better performance. Now, let's have a look at its benchmark report. So, first of all, I have checked this laptop in Cine Benchmark and according to Cine Benchmark, this laptop single core performance is around 1320 and multi core score is 8816 and according to 3D Mark Bench Test, this laptop's overall score is 3257, CPU score is 5997 and GPU score I got is 3014. Now let's go forward and let's have a test on its gaming performance but before going forward, let me tell you one thing, this is not a sponsored video, I have purchased this laptop just to let you know whether you should buy it or you must ignore it. So if you like my work and if you really want to support my work, then make sure to purchase this laptop from the link given in the description section below. If you buy from my link, it will help my channel plus you will also get it at the best price as well. And one more thing I would like to tell you, the link that I have provided you in the description section below, if you click there, it will redirect you to my website where you can learn more about this laptop, such as which RAM is used in the laptop, which SSD is used in the laptop, with entire 
entire model numbers as well. So make sure check it out after watching this video. Now let's go forward and let me explain you how is the gaming performance of this laptop. First of all, I have tested Spider-Man Miles Morales and this game cannot be played at high and very high settings. You will get max to max 27 FPS, but the game also get crashed in the meantime. At medium setting, you can easily play the game at 30 FPS and at low settings, it can be easily playable at 57 FPS. And I believe at low setting, you will get very smooth experience as well. I've also tested it on days gone and at max setting, very easily you can play this game around 84 FPS. If we talk about the Elden Ring, here you will get the average performance of 58 FPS at maximum settings. If we talk about the latest game history, at high settings, you will get average of 58 FPS. A Black Tail Requiem can be playable at high and medium settings at 33 to 35 FPS, that's it. If we talk about the Forza Horizon 5, at extreme and ultra settings, you will get around 35 FPS, but the game crashed many times. So I will recommend you, it is better to play the game at high settings and here you will get very easily 60 FPS. If we talk about the God of War, at ultra setting, you will get around 33 FPS, but frame also drops many times. So because of that reason, the game is unplayable. So if you want to play this game, I will recommend you to play it at high settings and at high setting, you will get very easily around 53 FPS. Gotham Knight is also one of the latest game. And if we talk about its benchmark at high and highest setting, you will get around 32 to 35 FPS very easily. And this game at all the settings give the same performance and you will not get more than 38 FPS. Next, I have tested this laptop on GTA 5 and at very high settings, you will get very easily 80 FPS and this game run like a butter. If we talk about the shadow of Tomb Raider at highest setting, you will get very easily around 49 FPS. At high setting, this can be playable around 54 FPS and at medium setting, you can easily play this game around 62 FPS. If we talk about the trending game of the day, Valorant, at high setting, very easily you will get around 167 FPS. So if you are a Valorant lover, then this laptop is for you. You will get 167 FPS at maximum settings. Overall gaming performance of this laptop is quite good and I believe all the games can be run at medium and high settings very easily. Now let's discuss about the most frequently asked questions that people used to ask before purchasing a laptop, such as, can I upgrade the RAM? Yes, you can upgrade the RAM up to 32 GB because there are two RAM slots available in the laptop. Can I upgrade SSD? Yes, you can upgrade SSD because by default 512 GB is available. There is one extra slot for the SSD that is NVMe and it can be upgradable very easily. Next, what is the charging time of this laptop? The charging time of this laptop is around two hours and once you do the complete charge max to max you will get four to five hours of battery backup while doing normal tasks so these are all the features functions benchmark score of the laptop now let's talk about few cons that i have found related to this laptop the con number one the temperature of the laptop becomes 90 degree very easily and sometimes it also crossing the 100 degree that is not so awesome things about a gaming laptop and one more thing i would like to tell you right even the temperature gets high the performance is smooth means the frames are not getting dropped that i found something interesting about the laptop point number two hence you will get a matte finish lid on this laptop but it very easily captures the fingerprints of your hand so if you used to travel outside you have to carry one cloth with you as well Point number three, the display wobbles a lot. If I slightly touch the laptop, as you can see, the display is keep shaking for few seconds. This is the things many people find it annoying, but hinge quality is very good one. So you will not get any problem on that. You can easily open this laptop with the help of a single finger as well. So quality of the laptop is good one, but only wobbling issue is available in the laptop that is available on all the Victus models. The total weight of the laptop is around 2.3 kg. So if you travel a lot outside, Side, then you may face little heavier side but this is a gaming laptop and this is the normal weight of a gaming laptop now last and the final questions can this laptop use by a student programmer video editor yes definitely you can use but for this i believe you must upgrade the ram around 16 gb to get the better experience photoshop work is smoothly at 8 gb no problem on that but if you use applications such as davinci or premiere pro you must need at least 16 gb of ram all right that's it for the day i hope Hope you have found this video helpful then kindly hit the like button and if you want to buy this laptop then kindly buy it from the link given in the description section below 
or you can also click here to buy this laptop right now. If you buy from my link, it will help my channel plus you will also get it at the best price as well. If you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe it and also hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.